Chapter 9, Surely I Come Quickly. Prophesy Things to Come. Exposition. Maranatha, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 22, is of Aramaic origin, meaning, Our Lord has come or will come, when two Hebrew meet they greet each other with, Shalom meaning peace. They are not so much thinking of peace with God as, peace with their Arab neighbors. When Christians in the early church met they greeted each other with Maranatha, that is, the Lord cometh, their hearts were thrilled with the fact that he came and with the promise and prospect that he will surely come again. It would be good if we today would revive the use of Maranatha, in our greetings, letters or accompanied with an autograph. This would bring an awakening and blessing to us and to others. The use of the word Maranatha is an expression of faith, faith in the promises of our Lord regarding his return. He looks for faith and rejoices when he finds it in our hearts. The promises of his first advent came true, so his second advent will surely come true as well. Sincere believing and acting on these promises will influence others to believe also. Again, it expresses hope. It is looking for that blessed hope. Titus 2 verse 13, believers don't look for death, but the blessed hope death is a defeated foe, but a foe just the same. Believers may die but they are looking for the Lord, not death. Enoch is a type of the translated believers at the rapture. Genesis 524 Hebrews 11 verse 5 When believing loved ones are taken by death, we sorrow but not as those who have no hope. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 13 It also expresses love, the Lord looks for faith, but he also desires our love. One day the Lord asked Peter three times, Lovest thou me? John 21:15-17 If we love him surely we will look for him to return. Like a bride longs for the coming of the bridegroom, a crown of righteousness is laid up for those who love his appearing to Tim. For colon 8, it's not the crown so much as himself that we look for. It expresses JOI, we are commanded to rejoice in the Lord. Philip for colon 4, if we rejoice in the Lord we will rejoice in his return, and in the joy of seeing him as he is and to be like him. What a day of rejoicing it will be when in rapture we behold him. There will be no more failures or disappointments. A new body of flesh and bones like unto his glorious body. To never suffer pain again. There will be the joy of receiving a reward and hearing his, well done thou good and faithful servant. Finally, it expresses concern for others. By using the word, Maranatha. We remind others of his imminent return. To the unsaved, it is a message of warning. Prepare to meet thy God Amos.412 to the Christian, it means watch, pray and witness because the time is short. Let's revive the use of the word, Maranatha, for the glory of God and the salvation of souls. Outlines The Second Coming 1 Thessalonians.4, 13-18 The Second Coming of Our Lord appears about 318 times in the New Testament indicating its importance. There are two advents in the Word, the first extending from the incarnation of Our Lord to His ascension back into glory. This covered a period of approximately 33 years. The second advent extends from the rapture of the church till Christ's appearing to set up his kingdom. This covers a period of approximately seven years. These truths are not determined by a single verse or passage of scripture, but by an overview of the Old and New Testaments. An essential rule to follow is a literal interpretation of scripture unless it is obviously symbolic. The word rapture is, a Latin word, literally, caught up, a snatching away. Acts 8.39, 2 Corinthians 12 verses 2 and 4. Contrast the rapture of the church and Christ's appearing. The rapture is the removal of all believers from the church age to be with the Lord in glory. For believers only. The appearing is the Son of God appearing to judge and set up his rule during the mill, affects all men. The rapture is when the saints are caught up into the air. The appearing, Christ will return to the earth to reign. The rapture is when Christ comes to claim his bride. The appearing is when Christ returns with his bride to reign. The rapture is the removal of the church and the inception of the tribulation. The appearing is the establishment of the kingdom. The rapture is imminent. No unfulfilled signs to look for. 
the appearing, preceded by many signs, some fulfilled, some to be fulfilled. The rapture brings a message of comfort to believers. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18 The appearing brings a warning of judgment for unbelievers to heed. The rapture is a program for the church. The appearing is a program for Israel and the world. The rapture is a mystery revealed to Paul. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51 The appearing is predicted in both testaments. The rapture, the believer's works judged at the judgment seat of Christ. The appearing Gentiles in Israel will be judged. The rapture, the elements of creation are unchanged. The appearing brings frightful changes in creation. The rapture, Gentiles, unaffected. The appearing Gentile are judged in the tribulation. The rapture, Israel's covenants are unfulfilled. The appearing Israel's covenants will be fulfilled. The rapture comes before the day of wrath, the tribulation, Romans 2 verse 5. The appearing follows the day of wrath. Tribulation. The rapture, the Lord is at hand, PHP, for colon 5. The appearing, the kingdom is at hand, Matthew 24 verse 14. The rapture, the church taken into the Lord's presence. The appearing Israel is, taken into the kingdom. Seed Thoughts and Sermon Starters 1. Some Views on the Second Coming, Which the Writer Doesn't Endorse 1. The Partial Rapture Theory Refuted, We Shall All Be Changed, There Will Be No Amputations of the Body, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51. 2. Mid-Tribulation Rapture Theory Refuted, God hath not appointed us to wrath, no condemnation, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9, row 8 colon 1. 3. Post-tribulationism theory refuted, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, Revelation 3 verse 10. 2. The second coming has always been the hope of the church. 1. Blessed, comfort one another. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18. 2. Purifying, Purifieth himself, even as he is pure. 1 John 3, 3. 3. Sure, prophesies and promises. John. 14 colon 3. 4. Imminent, surely I come quickly. Revelation 22 verse 20. 3. The imminent return demands the pre tribulation rapture. 1. Imminent, so, watch, wait, pray, and be not overtaken as a thief. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 2 and 4. 4. Three Greek words, for his coming. Determined by context. 1. Parousia, equals coming, presence. 2. Harpezo, equals caught up, Philip and Paul were raptured into heaven. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17 Acts. 8 39, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 4. 3. Epiphania, equals appearing, brightness. Kingdom. 5. No three days, ages, or periods, not a 24-hour day. Cf. Day of Salvation, Day of Grace, and the Day of Judgment. Ike Day of Christ, PHP 110. 1. Duration, from the rapture to the appearing. Fulfilled in heaven. 2. Main events, the rapture, the bema, the marriage supper, and his appearing. 3. Participants, ye, are all the children of light. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5. 1. He comes, for his saints. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 15 to 17. 2. Some Bible scholars include Old Testament saints. In Christ. 3. Only the redeemed hear the shout, the voice and the trump. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16. 4. Meeting place in the air, in enemy territory. Ephesians 2 verse 2, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. 5. A mystery and Old Testament secret, now revealed to the church through Paul. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51. 6. Christ is the bright and morning star, he is the first glimpse of the eternal day. Revelation 22 verse 16. 2. The Day of the Lord, 1 Thess.5 colon 2 Zech 14 colon 1. 
1. The Old Testament Day of the Lord is a time of judgment. Joel 2 colon 1, 2, 31, 32. 2. The duration, tribulation through the millennium. On earth, judgment and blessing. 3. Two last day signs precede this day. 1. A worldwide falling away from the faith. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. 2. The stage is set for the man of sin, Antichrist, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. 4. Participants, children of night, darkness. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5. 1. Zechariah.14 Read select verses. 2. He will come with his saints. Zechariah 14, 5, 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 13. 3. It will be ushered in by signs in heaven see, Matthew 24 verses 29 and 30. 4. This is not a mystery, it was predicted in the Old Testament. 5. He will judge unbelief, Armageddon, as a thief in the night 2 Peter.3, 10. 6. He will reign as king in righteous judgment, millennium, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 5. A. He shall rule with a rod of iron. Revelation 2 verse 27, Revelation 19 verse 15. B. He blesses the Son of Righteousness with healing, Malachi 4 verse 2. 3. Of the Day of God, 2 P.E. 3.12. 1. Duration, time ends and the eternal state begin. 2. Participants. 1. The devil and the false prophet. They are cast into the lake of fire. 2. Unbelievers of all ages, not found written in the book of life, are judged. Great White Throne, Revelation 20 verses 11 to 15. 3. Signs and accompanying events. 1. Celestial bodies will melt with fervent heat. 2 Peter.3, 10. 2. All rule, authority and power are put down. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 24. 3. Christ delivers the kingdom to his Father. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 24. 4. New heavens and new earth will appear. Revelation 21 verse 1. 5. The GWTJ culminates time and ushers in eternity. Conclusion 1. Imminent, why a 2,000-year delay? 1. The Lord is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, 2 Peter.3, 9. 2. God cannot be tied to time. In his time. 3. The church has to be completed. Until the last stone is in the building. 2. The rapture and the unbeliever, facing the tribulation. 1. The day of grace ends and the day of wrath begin. The tribulation. 2. The spirit, restrainer, will be removed. See, 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 6 to 8, dby. A. The salt and light will also be removed. Matt. 513. 3. Revelation 5 to 19 is the tribulation on earth, but no hint of the church. 1. Come up hither, Revelation 4 verse 1, John's call to come up pictures the rapture of the church. 2. The marriage supper of the Lamb takes place in heaven, Revelation 19 verses 7 to 10. 4. The believer who dies falls asleep and is with the Lord, awaiting the rapture. 5. The first advent was to redeem, but the second will be to rescue. 6. Different attitudes toward the second coming. 1. The scoffer, where is the promise of his coming? 2 Peter 3 verse 4. 2. The backslider, my Lord delayed his coming, Luke.12, 45. 3. The Lord, behold I come quickly, 3xs, Rev. 22, 7, 12, 20. 4. The believer, even so come Lord Jesus, Revelation 22, verse 20. 7. A supposed scenario, confusion reigns for those left behind after the rapture. 1. A plane in the air, pilot, co-pilot, and some of the passengers disappear. 2. A funeral procession and the honored guest vanishes. 3. A liberal preacher says, maybe God has judged those reactionaries. 4. A husband, I check the underscored verses in her Bible and I'm scared. 5. Enoch and Elijah's disappearance caused confusion.
2 Key 2, 11 to 18, Hebrews 11 verse 5. 8. This truth either comforts and regulates the life or causes concern. 1. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away so. 2.10. 2. His coming is, sure, selective, secret, sudden and saving. 3. We shall be changed, like him, glorified. 4. We shall see him, as he is, face to face, the altogether lovely one. 9. The Divine Architect's Masterpiece will be finished on schedule, Ephesians 5 verses 26 and 27. 1. Is not this the carpenter? Mark.6, 3. 2. I will build my church, Matthew 16 verse 18. 3. I go to prepare a place for you, many mansions, John.14, 2. 4. Perhaps today. Dash surely I come quickly. Even so, come. Revelation 22 verse 20. Notes and Quotes When the outlook isn't good, try the up look. The last sight the disciples had of our Lord before he returned to heaven was his outstretched arm in blessing. That is his unchanging attitude toward us today as our great high priest. Ye are my friends, who can calculate the intimacy of that statement? Cultivate the enjoyment of Christ's love and be surrounded by the holy atmosphere that created it. When we are near to God we lose sight of self and are able to comprehend his mind. At his feet is where he makes indelible impressions of himself on our heart and life. Spiritual light is important because it leads us to cultivate our love for Christ. It is to the heart, and not the head, that Christ reveals himself and his love. The better we know him the more we will love him. His present absence makes our heart grow fonder. Meditations Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Psalm 56 8 Jesus wept. John 1135 God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Revelation 7 verse 17 Tears or its equivalent occurs 178 times in the Bible. This is not a sign of weakness, but of a tender heart. The Lord Jesus wept, as did many worthy saints. God has a bottle in which he is collecting the tears of the saints. He is measuring our compassion, not our strength and accomplishments. Like the woman who washed his feet with her tears, we will likely, one day, pour out those tears on his feet, in worship, and then, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Rev 7 17, 21 colon 4. Thus might I hide my blushing face, while his dear cross appears. Dissolve my heart in thankfulness, and melt my eyes to tears. But drops of grief can ne'er repay, the debt of love I owe, here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. Every man's work shall be made manifest, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 13. The books were opened and the dead were judged out of those things according to their works. Revelation 20 verse 12. There is an organization called Anonymous slash Anonymous which is designed for people who wish to keep their problem a secret from their fellow man. They may accomplish this for a time, but for the believer, every man's work shall be made manifest at the judgment seat of Christ. For those who die without salvation, the books will be opened, at the great white throne judgment, and will be judged by the one who wanted to be their savior. Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee, nothing in my hands I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. The things which are not seen are eternal 2 Corinthians.4.18. For the Christian, the things not seen are primarily spiritual, eternal and future. Hope is faith looking forward and enjoying the sure promises. It sees our light affliction it is replaced by the eternal weight of glory 2 Corinthians.4, 17 It sees the body of sin destroyed, the sting of death removed, and that the valley of the shadow of death holds no fear, because our loving shepherd is with us. It sees that life is so brief and as someone has said, death is but a narrow stream that will soon be forded, and then we can enter into the reality of our Savior's promise, where I am, there ye may be also. John 14 colon 3, we concur with John and say, even so come Lord Jesus Revelation 22 verse 20.
Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Questions and Answers Question, I have mature Christian friends who have different views on the second coming of Christ, the rapture etc. How do I deal with this difference? Answer, love them just the same. There are areas on this subject where we can't afford to be dogmatic but are responsible to be convinced in our own minds and that based on what we understand in the Word of God. These issues are not fundamental where our salvation depends on it so it is best not to debate, but believe everything God has shown us, nothing more or nothing less. We are looking for the Lord's return at any moment, not for death or the Antichrist. This subject can't be established by a single verse or passage, but by an overview of the whole of Scripture. The writer believes in the pre-tribulation rapture of the church which means the blessed hope is imminent and that he could come at any moment.